Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, teacher. It was a good day. Okay, that's excellent. Very good. So how do you feel about the, the class? Today is our last class. How do you feel about that? Uh, will you miss your classmate? This day is very sad. We can't finish the course. Yes, we're going to finish the course, right? But don't worry, because we are going to have the opportunity to start another course, right? So, uh, ¿quién de ustedes ya puede ver eh, su certificado o su diploma? Mi teacher. Ok, Walter, Morena, can you? What about you, Alexis, Mario, and Isidro? ¿Cómo lo veo, teacher? Aún no. No yet. Oh, bueno, yo ayer terminé. El, ayer terminé todo, todo lo que estaba pendiente. Pero no, no he visto si lo, ya lo ya se puede ver. Ok. I guess that you can, right? So you can check. If no, you have to wait until the 17, right? Um, February 17 is the last day for you to to get, right, to get your diploma of this course. But if you can already see it, it's very good too, right? Recuerde que good te evening. Te... Hello, Julio, good evening, welcome to the class. Recuerde que debe de tener arriba del 80% para que usted se le habilite la opción de ver el diploma. Entonces, um, check it, right, check it, if you can see, if you already can see your diploma. Buenas tardes. Hello, welcome. Teacher, Alexis. este diploma del que usted menciona, este diploma del que usted está mencionando, ¿lo van a mandar de ahí o uno tiene que poner algo para que uno mismo lo pueda poner? No sé, no entiendo. Ah, ok, I'm going to show you in this moment, right? En la parte de progreso, cuando usted ya tiene arriba del 80%, se le habilita una opción. Arriba, arriba tiene una opción donde dice ver certificado. Entonces usted le da clic ahí okay, y okay. Autom automáticamente se le genera su certificado. Usted lo puede imprimir. Usted lo puede sacar uh, impreso sin ningún problema. Bueno, bueno. Eh, de hecho, ahí le puse un mensajito, no me lo ha contestado. Quizá no lo ha visto. No, porque quiero ver si, si lo mando a veces con recursos humanos, pues para ver si me pueden inscribir para el siguiente curso. Pero eh, no sé, perdón por mi ignorancia, pero tal vez no sé interpretar o no, no. No sé si sería lo correcto esa respuesta o está bien así o, o, o no es por vanidad que le he mandado, pero no. así lo mando a Recursos Humanos para que me inscriban ya para el otro curso si es posible. Tal vez me le pone un check ahí, pero ya me mandó un compañero, eh, incluso su diploma ahí el, y la manera como tiene que estar. Entonces presumo que es la manera correcta. Entonces ya Ay, lo voy a eh, Isidro, donde dice solicitar certificado, tiene que darle clic para que se le genere su diploma. Ya vi su imagen y sí, así es, ¿verdad? Usted ya completó el 100% de la plataforma. Su nota es el 100%, ya lo hizo todo, completó todos los ejercicios, el examen final, el okay. examen de medio curso. Entonces ya le aparece el 100%. Entonces, okay. donde dice solicitar certificado, ahí tiene que darle clic. Ok, de, gracias. Y en sí. caso de que no se le genere el certificado, me escribe, ¿verdad? Pero ahí tiene que gracias. Es por Es ya, por la ya. parte gris que tiene a la parte de la última barra, como está la parte gris, y no llega la roja hasta arriba, entonces no sabía si... si ya, entonces, el, el estaba ah, chévere, ok, pero bueno. Está dividido gracias, en eh. tres. Está dividido en okay. tres. La primera, ah, okay. el, el primer color, el rojo más pálido, son las actividades, ¿verdad? todos los ejercicios que hizo en cada una de las secciones. La parte más oscura es el midterm, es el examen de medio curso y la parte gris es el examen final. Así está okay. dividida la última barrita. ¿Y la suma de los tres da ese 100? La suma de los tres da ese 100%. I'm sorry for my ignorance. Pero ahora estamos ya. Gracias. 
Okay. Una consulta y para ver, para ver eh, ese, ese certificado en la en el módulo anterior eh, se puede, también lo mandaron porque yo la verdad es que no no me recuerdo. En el módulo anterior sí tuvieron tuvo que haberlo sacado impreso y para y para poderlo sacar. Usted no, no lo sacó impreso el curso anterior. No, eh, revise, no, no, revise. No, no, déjeme. Se supone que está en el correo, ¿verdad? No, está en la plataforma. Porque en la ahora plataforma. Ah, oh, ok. Se okay. automáticamente en la plataforma. Teacher, yeah. yo tengo una duda. Dígame, ¿cuál es su duda? Eh, como yo hice los otros cursos anteriores, llegué a la última fase donde se imprimía el diploma. Pero este, este no, me, no me dio esa, esa opción. Ah, es yo lo terminé en... todo, pero no sé, ya no pude ver tampoco la gráfica ni nada. ¿No se le activó una opción que dice solicitar certificado? No, no. Por mí me extrañó Arriba. y como... Arriba de la gráfica. No, es que no me salió la gráfica, por eso le digo. Ya revisó en la gráfica. Solo terminé el examen ah. y le di next y no, no, no me salió nada. Teacher. Sí. Dígame. Perdón, compañerita Morena. Este, ahorita ahí mandé por WhatsApp y eh, en la parte donde aparece el progreso, arriba aparece un cuadrito que dice ver certificado. Ahí le di clic y ya me lo. Ya me lo mandó, de hecho ahí lo estoy pegando en el WhatsApp para poderlo ver. Haga, bueno, Morena puede hacer ahí lo mismo, amiga. Gracias, okay. teacher. Congratulations, sí. Isidro. I can see your diploma. Okay. Ah, vaya, gracias, teacher. Lo que pasa no, no es de que. Con, esa parte. Sí, porque todos los anteriores no lo había hecho hasta el día de no. hoy. Pero en realidad, pues, sabemos de que para mí este es el básico. Yo quiero tener el, el último certificado. Ese sí. El que vale, pues, oro de 17 ah, okay. clases. Ok, very good. So, look at this. Si ustedes Gracias. están en el curso, si ustedes están en el curso, den eh, clic en la pestaña que dice progreso. Donde dice progreso y acá les va a aparecer la gráfica, ¿verdad? Donde completaron la sección 1, la sección 2, la sección 3, sección 4 y sección 5. Después acá está el promedio de las secciones, de los ejercicios que están dentro de cada una de las secciones. Después está el midterm, el examen de medio curso sería la siguiente barrita y el examen final sería la barra gris grande, acá. Y acá está el total, el total de ejercicios, acá. Acá les tendría que dar más del 80% en esta última barra, ¿verdad? Y acá arriba, donde en este momento yo tengo su, su inscripción, ruta de asistente, acá, ¿verdad? Se les va a generar un botón azul, donde dice eh, solicitar certificado. Entonces usted le da clic ahí e inmediatamente se le genera su certificado. Eso estaba, acabo de revisar y sí, ya están, ya están listos. Ya están listos, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Sí. Si usted logró ¿verdad? más del 80%, pues ya está listo, ¿verdad? Y nos informaron este día que tienen hasta las 12 de la medianoche de este día para completarlo. Ya sí, lo terminé, solo no me dio esa opción. Ah, ok. ¿Y su, su gráfica? ¿Puede mandarme una captura de su gráfica, por favor? Ah, pero es que como... El, en la Creo parte de arriba de la gráfica aparece. Vale, tiene que venirse acá a la pestaña progreso, de ahí le aparece esta gráfica y en la parte de arriba tiene que generarse el botón azul ¿y como en la computadora de la oficina es que tengo esto ya guardado y grabado, no lo tengo acá no ah, sé cómo fue para ingresarlo ah ok eh... ¿Cómo podemos hacer? De un segundo. Si yo le envío el link. Mándeme el link y lo voy a ingresar al correo. Okay, Me lo puede mandar por, por correo. Si es tan amable. 
El link, se lo voy a Ajá. poner ahorita en el chat, se lo voy a poner acá en el ah, chat. Ah, va, súper, súper, sí. Bye. Ahí está en el chat. Teacher, perdón que le, que le siga insistiendo. Dígame. Eh, y para, para poder imprimir entonces el otro, ya que está ahí. Quisiera ah, vaya, un... ok. Vaya, usted está acá, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, podemos buscarlo, ¿verdad? A ver si está. Véngase aquí a la opción donde está su nombre. ¿Dónde está su nombre? Y le da en cuenta. Vamos a ver. No, that is not the option. Give me a second. Pero aquí están guardados todos sus cursos. Sí, yo así lo tengo, pero lo tengo guardado en, el, en la computadora de la oficina. <risa> ah, no, muy no bien. Entonces, dele aquí en su nombre. Dele aquí en su nombre. Mándeme el link en el chat. Ya se, lo, ya se lo mandé en el chat de, de la videollamada. Ah, aquí en la computadora. Yo buscándole en el WhatsApp. El WhatsApp. I'm sorry. Ok, very good, Morena. Congratulations. I can see now your diploma. Very good job. Alexis, ya, ya intentó esta opción. Acá en donde está su nombre, solo denle un clic y le van a aparecer Ajá. todos los cursos en los que usted ha estado inscrito. Ajá. Ahí, bueno, vamos a intentar lo que pasa. Estoy en el mismo teléfono. Para, ahorita voy. Vamos a ver aquí. Para. ¿Alguien más tiene problemas para ver su diploma? Nobody. ¿A alguien todavía le hace falta alguna sección por terminar del curso? The final exam. No. En la parte de cursos, ¿verdad? Así es. Donde dice cursos, denle clic a su nombre para que le aparezcan todos los cursos en los que usted está inscrito o ha estado inscrito. Y ahí le aparece esta opción, mire, que dice ver certificate. Ver el certificado que ya logró. Este era el diseño anterior, miren, ahora el de ustedes es más bonito. Ya lo vi. Perdón, este, no me fijé a dónde le debió haber certificado. Ah, ok, let's go. Acá, mire, donde dice ver curso archivado, abajo está ver certificate. Mm, ok. Tendría que ser en el último, ¿verdad? Que le doy. Tendría que ser uno anterior al último. Uno anterior al último. Bueno, si no, nos quedamos al final de la clase viendo cómo podemos hacer para que usted obtenga su certificado, ¿de acuerdo? So, today is our last class. So, but we are going to have a feedback of the whole course. We are going to see some topic that we have already studied to know, right, if you remember something about this. So, let's start with tonight's class. And the topic is feedback of the course, right? So, we are going to remember some things about this course. So let's start. I am sharing with you my screen. Can you please let me know if you can see it? Is or Yes. Yes. Okay, we are going to solve the first exercise here. 
in the instruction say complete the following sentences with an is or are. So we are going to use am, is, or are to complete the following sentences. And I have here three sentences. Number one is we going, we to, are. Cook, oh. uh, going to cook rusted meat. What is the right option to complete this sentence? What is it? What the... In number the, one. The first, number one. Yes. We are going to cook roasted meat. Okay, excellent. We are going to cook. And the next one, number two. I'm I'm going to have a party. In the next one, number three. You you are going to come to my party. Thank you very much. Let's go with the next. Number four. Number four. She is going to buy some drinks. She is going to buy some drinks. Thank you. The next one, number five. He is going to buy some snacks. Thank you very much. Let's go with the next. Number six. What is the right answer? It is going to be fantastic. Thank you very much. And seven and is or are. They they are going to make the salad. Okay, very good. So remember this structure, right? We are talking here about going to, right? The expression going to to talk about the future tense. So we say we are, I am, you are going to, she is going to, he is going to, it is going to, and they are going to. So to make a sentence in, in future tense, we need this structure, subject, verb be, going to, the verb in the complement and the complementary. So subject, verb be, going to, the verb and the complement. And I have here these examples, right? We are going to cook rusted meat. I am going to have a party. You are going to come to my party. She is going to buy some drinks. He is going to buy some snacks. It is going to be fantastic. They are going to make the salad. So affirmative sentences in future tense using going to. Let's go with the next one. Complete the following negative sentences correctly. They are negative sentences. So the first one is, I going to celebrate Christmas. Yo no voy a celebrar Navidad este año. So how to make this sentence negative. ¿Qué necesitamos para hacer esta oración negativa? Any volunteer? Any I didn't. Did. Uh, no. No. I'm not going to celebrate Christmas. Okay. okay, very good. So we need the verb be. And not, right? I am not going to celebrate Christmas. I'm not going to celebrate Christmas. Very good. So let me write the answer here. So you say, I am not. I'm not. I'm not going to celebrate Christmas. Let's see the next one. The next is, just a second. The next is this, she. She is not going to have a, a birthday party. Okay, excellent. She is not going to have a birthday party. And the next one? He is not stay home the next holiday. Excellent. And number four? They are not to travel to Europe. To Europe. To Europe. So let's write here the answer. She is not, right? There be not. plus not. She is not. And the other one is he is not. And the last one is they, they, are, are, they are not. They, are they not. aren't. They aren't. 
they are not going, they are not going to travel to Europe. He is not going. He is not going to. One, two is missing here. He is not going to stay home the next holiday. They are not going to travel to Europe. So we can say Europe. these sentences, right? Negative sentences uh, to talk about future plans. Right? Planes que no sucederán en el futuro. I am not going to celebrate Christmas. Yo no celebraré en la Navidad. She is not going to have a birthday party. Ella no tendrá una fiesta. He is not going to stay home the next holiday. Eh, él no estará ¿verdad? en casa la próxim, el, la, los próximos días festivos o la próxima festividad. They are not going to travel to Europe. Ellos no viajarán a Europa. So to make a negative equation in future tense, we use the following, the following structure. A subject, a verb not going to, bird, a verb, and a complement. So this is, is what we are going to need, right? It's correct. Uh, um, why it isn't? She yes. isn't. He isn't. Yes, right. Uh, podemos hacer la contracción, contracción. de. The contraction. I not. I see. I not going to celebrate. And for is and no is isn't. Isn't. And going. Aren't. And aren't. Aren't. We, we can use this. Going to. Okay. I'm not. Isn't and aren't. Thank you very much. So let's go with the next slide here. Let's see, answer the following question. Just give me a second. I'm going to take it out. Here we go. Let's go. Answer the following question. To make a question in future tense, we need this structure. The verb be at the beginning of the sentence, the subject going to, the verb and the complement. So look at the following examples. Are you going to go shopping next weekend? Is she going to buy clothes? Are they going to use their credit card? Is he going to buy a car? Are we going to go to the supermarket? So future tense, right? Yes, no question in future tense. Any volunteer to answer the first one? Are you going to go shopping? What is a good answer for this question? Let's, are you going to go shopping? Va a ir usted de compras? ¿Cómo es? No, yo no. Sí, yo voy a ir. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, in this case, we are going to use the verb be. We are using the verb be in this structure. Yes, so. I do. Mm, yes, you. I am going to go shopping on, yes. on next weekend. Okay, thank you. So we use the verb be to answer this question. Yes, yes, I am. Yes, yes I am. Answer. Yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am going to go shopping. Next one, is she going to buy cloth? Is she going to buy cloth? Yes, I am. No, I am. Yes, she is. No, I am. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Let's see the other one. Is she going to buy cloth? So we have two options here. Do you remember which are? Yes, she is. is. Yes, he is, and the other option is no, she no, she isn't. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Okay, are they going to use their credit card? Either going to use their credit card. Yes, so, they are. To say yes, yes. they are. Wow, okay, yes, now they are. remembering this. Yes, they are. Yeah, no, they. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Excellent. No, they aren't. 
No, they aren't. Let's see the next one. Is he going to buy a car? Yes, he is. Okay, then we say yes, he is. And the other option is no, he, he isn't. No, he, he isn't. isn't. He no, he can't. isn't. Very good. Yes, Are we going to go to the supermarket? To, to the supermarket. Yes, we are. Okay. Yes, yes we are is yes. one option. We are. What is the other one? Yes, we are or yes, we are. No, we are. No, we aren't. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. No, we <coughs> No, we aren't. Very good. So in this way, we answer yes, no question in future tense, right? We using going to. Remember this structure, right? It is important. A structure in English are really important, right? So you must learn this by heart, right? You have to memorize this, this structure, and it is going to make a more easier, right? It's going to make it easier to make sentences. Si usted se aprende las estructuras, va a ser mucho, fácil, mucho más fácil hacer oraciones in English. So the verb be subject going to the verb and complement and the question word. And what about information question? What about the information questions? And it says, answer the following information question. Get the first one. Usted conoce quién es este. WH word, we're going to use WH word. And the verb be. Subject going to the verb, the complement, and the question mark. Look at the following example. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? So Valentine's Day is coming, right? It is the next week. So what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? What are you going to do? What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? What, what is an answer for this question? What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? It's in future tense, right? ¿Qué va a ser el día de San I'm going, to, I'm going to go out with my wife. Okay, excellent plan. I'm going to go out with my wife. Excellent, Walter. Thank you very much. Any other plan for that day? Out dinner, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go out for a dinner. Uh, any other plan? Hello, guys. Good, good evening. I'm going to invite my wife on, on Valentine's Day. Okay, very good. Uh, I'm going to invite my wife to a restaurant. Nice, very good. Another example, another example could be, uh, I'm going to buy a present. To my wife. Okay, excellent. For I'm this, going to buy a day. present to my wife. Perfect. Very good. Any other answer? ¿Qué van a hacer el día de San Valentín? So you say, I am going or I am gonna. I have many plans. Ah, okay. Let's go with the next one. What are you going to do next weekend? What are you going to do next weekend? Do you remember this question? You I'm going to I'm going to to buy in the supermarket. Okay, I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to go shopping or I am going to buy food on the supermarket. Very good, Julio. Then the last one. Oh, sorry. Where are you going to travel? Where are you going to travel? Where are you going to travel? In the future, if you have the chance, where are you going to travel? ¿A dónde va a viajar? I'm going to, to travel in USA. Okay, I am going to travel to USA. So information question, right? We need to get information for this. Let's go with the next. Uh, we study this topic too, right? Talking about health problems. So we studied these phrases. Do you remember what is the meaning of them? What's the matter and what's wrong? What is the meaning of phrases? 
They have pasa? a similar meaning. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Cuál es el problema? Okay, excellent. Thank you. So, let's see. I have here these examples to talk about health problems. We use the very hat. And I said, I have a cow. She has a rash. She has a backache. And look at the picture. I have a coat. I have a coat. Uh, she has a rash. She has a backache. So what's the matter with her? ¿Cuál es el problema con ella? What's the matter with her? What's the matter with her? No dolor de muela. Ah, okay, now in English. In Spanish is very good. Now in English. <laughs> she have a cow. Okay, excellent. Have she has. has. She, has. she has, has a has. cow. Very good. She has a cow. What's the matter with her? What's the matter with her? She has a rash. Mm, no, not a rash. Stomach, stomach. She has a stomach ache. She has a stomach ache. Stomach. And what's the matter with her? She has, she she has, has a, flu. a flu. She has the flu, right? She has the flu. She has. Oh, she has a cold, right? She has a cold and she has the flu. And what's the matter with him? He has a headache. He has a headache. Headache. He has headache. He has a headache. He has a headache. Very good. Headache. Headache. He has a headache. And then in this topic, we also studied some imperative sentences to give advices, right? We give, we give some advices using imperative sentences. Let's see, for example, uh, for a headache, what is a good advice for a headache? Take an aspirin. Okay, excellent. We learned this expression. Take Teacher, an aspirin, uh, yes? Excuse me. What is the last sound, the consonant in headache? Headache or headache? Is ache. Ache, headache, 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 backache, headache, with a K at the end. Yeah, headache, with ache, headache. Okay, thank you. Backache, ache. That is the correct pronunciation. Thank you, Ciro, for the invitation. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, take an aspirin. What about for a stomach ache? Stomach ache, what is a good advice for this illness? Or for this health problem. To eat. To eat a full. A, uh, I forget. <laughs> Don't to eat, eat too much. Fast food. Okay. Don't eat too much. Don't eat too much. And also don't eat fast food. Excellent sentences. Thank you. Yeah. Don't eat too much. Don't eat fast food. Very good. What about for a toothache? What is a good advice for a toothache? Don't to eat ice cream. Don't see eat your ice cream. dentist. Okay, see a dentist or go to the dentist and don't eat ice cream. Very good advices. So we use imperative sentences to get advice. Don't forget that we can use a affirmative imperative sentences and also negative using don't, right? Cuando queremos um, aconsejar que alguien haga algo, utilizamos una eh, oración imperativa afirmativa, ¿verdad? por ejemplo, drink water, rest a lot, don't, eh, what? Eat healthy food. Y cuando queremos aconsejar que no haga algo, utilizamos don't, don't eat too much. Don't watch television. Eh, don't drink too much soda. Don't drink too much coffee. Don't work too hard. So don't forget about that. And then we study preposition of place. Yesterday we studied them too, right? They were into the final exam. So preposition of place, which one do you remember? Do you remember about these phrases? A corner of. 
on stride. What's the meaning of this? Nice. Go a stride. On oh, front street. Turn right, turn left, walk on, next between, to, between, behind, behind on, next to, next to, on the corner of, across from, in front of. So let's see what is the meaning of the first one. Go a stride. What is the meaning of the first one? Go a stride. Sí, correcto. Okay, excellent. Turn right. Turn right. Cruzar Cruza a la, la derecha. derecha. A la derecha. Turn left. Cruza a la izquierda. La izquierda. Sí. Walk on. Walk on. Sigue caminando. Sigue caminando. Next to. Next to. Junto a. A la par. In between. Between. Entre. 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 Entre o en medio de. And behind is. Atrás. Atrás. Back to you. Ok. <laughs> el on. On es sobre de. Sobre de. And then on sobre. the corner of. On the corner of. En la esquina. En la esquina. Across from. Cruzando. Cruzando. El otro lado de la calle. We can say. Across from. And in front of. Que está justo en frente. 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 Justo en frente. In front of. En frente de. Then using this, uh, let's see, what is the drugstore? What is the drugstore in this map? The drugstore is between fire station and bakery. Excellent, thank you very much. So let's see, what is the video store? What is the video store? It is true. It's on Long Avenue. Okay, it's on Long Avenue. That is a good sentence. We can next also to the use... Park, eh? Next to McDonald's. Next to McDonald's. From... Or between parking lot and McDonald's. In front of the grocery store or across from the grocery store, and also between, between the parking lot and Mad Dabs. And what is the city park? What is the city park? It's on Front Strip. It's on Front Strip, okay. And on the corner of. Um, it's on the corner of Front Strip and Border Avenue, very good. So where is the grocery store? Grocery store. Where is the, where is the grocery store? In front of the elementary school. Okay, okay. it's uh, across from the elementary school. In front of the bank. Yeah, it's in front of the bank. Perfect, in front of the bank. Next to the library. Mm, no, not really, it is not next to the library. It's in front oh, of the library too. Off oh, oh, front of library. In the corner of Long Avenue and Front Street. Excellent, it's on the corner of Long Avenue and Front Street. So do you have any question about using this expression? Go straight, turn right, Turn left, welcome, next to, between, behind, on, on the corner of, across from, and in front of. Questions? No questions? No question. No question. No question. Okay, very good. Okay, now let's see. I am here in this point. And I want to go to the city clinic here. Can you help me to get to this place? How can I, how do I get to the city clinic for the from the police station? Okay, the city clinic is on the front street on the corner of on the corner of border street. 
But get me, get me some direction. Get me some direction. You, How do I get to you the go same strike thing? from express. Okay. I find it. Go strike Long Avenue. Turn right or turn left? Turn right. On front, right street. on front street, thank you. Walk on the front street to the okay. end. Go to straight the street. ahead. Oh, go straight ahead. Avenue. Then turn to Avenue. the to the right in front street. Walk the on Long Avenue. Clinic is next to the bakery. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So walk on. You can say walk on Long Avenue. Turn right on Front Street. Uh, walk for one block. The city clinic uh, is next to the uh, bakery. After that, you turn left. Okay, very good. It's on the left. It's here. It's on the left. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, no question. No question about this. Okay, thank you. Let's go with this other topic we study in this unit. So, in this course, was and where, right? Do you remember about this? This was the last. Was and where. Simple past tense. So to, to make a sentences so in simple plus. past tense of the verb be, we use a subject, was or were, plus a complement. It's so simple, right? Subject, was or were, plus a complement. Con cuáles pronombres personales voy a utilizar was? Do you remember that? Yeah. I, first person. It, she, he, she, it. Okay, very good. So I was, he was, she was, and it was. And then where we were, you were, they were. And then they were. were. Okay, they excellent. Were. Now let's see this. I was sad yesterday. What is the meaning of this sentence? No, not really. It's an affirmative sentence. It says, I was, I was sad yesterday. Two oh. Sorry. I do the... I don't see, I don't, I don't see, I don't see the, the, ah, I was Okay, so don't worry about yeah. that. Thank you very much. That was a very good try. Don't worry about that. You are doing an excellent job. Thank you. She was at the shopping mall and they were polite. So, yo estuve triste ayer. Ella estuvo en el centro comercial and they were polite. Ellos fueron muy educados o amables polite 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 educados de right? were políticos <laughs> educados ah no, políticos es politician they were politician. ellos fueron okay. políticos any volunteer to read these three sentences thank you morena <laughs> thank you <laughs> that, that's the attitude I was I was sad yesterday. She was at, at that shopping mall. No mall. They were Polish. No. Polite. Polite. Thank they you. Were Thank you much. They were polite. Very good job, Marina. Thank you. I really appreciate your help. Now making negative sentences. We need a subject, was or were, not, and a complement. Look at the following example here. He was not angry. You were not at home yesterday. So, subject was not a problem. Subject were not uh, in compliment at the home Yes, You were not at home yesterday. Any volunteer to read these sentences? Thank you, Julio. He was not angry. Uh, you were not at home yesterday. Okay, thank you. Do you have any question about this? How to use was and were in affirmative and negative sentences? Questions? Okay. No questions? No questions. 
Okay. Question. Then let's see, what's in word? It's yes, no questions. To make yes, no questions, we are going to write at the beginning of the question, was or where? Subject, complement, and the question mark. Look at the example. Where you sick last month? Where you sick last month? Was high school easy for you? Was high school easy for you? Were they busy yesterday? Adios. What did you see last month? Is to visit enfermo el mes pasado? Yes, was I high were, school? No, okay. Um, was high school easy for you? Were they busy? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Okay. All day, all day busy. Ah, okay. <laughs> were they busy yesterday? Yes, yes, they were, right? Yes, they were. So now let's yes, see how to answer, right. how to answer yes, no question. How to answer yes, no question. So let's see. For the first one, where you sick? Estuviste este enfermo? Estuviste tu enfermo el mes pasado? Yes, so I was. Could... Yes, I was. Y la otra yes, sería, no, I, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Excellent. For the next question, was high school easy for you? Fue el bachillerato fácil para usted? So, yes. Isidro, Isidro, say the answer. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Oh, no, it was. No, it wasn't. In the last question, were they busy yesterday? So, you yes, say they were. yes. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Oh, no. They weren't. They weren't. They weren't. No, they weren't. And these are the answers. No, they mm -hmm. weren't the boosted yes. Okay. So we answer in this way. Yes, no question. What about information questions? Preguntas de información. Here we go, WH word. ¿Cuál es una WH word? Do you remember then? The question. Where, where, who, where, where, who, where, who, why, when, why, how, why, 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 how, who, what, when, Okay, so look at this example. You are right, right? Those are the W's word. Where, what, where, when, who, which, which, how much, how many, how. Look at this. Where were you on the weekend? Where, where were you on the weekend? Donde estuviste el fin de semana? Where were you on the weekend? Excuse me. Yes? How much is... Plural, how many is singular? Uh, no, how many contables, nombres contables, how many? Uh -huh. Y how uh -huh. much is para nombres que no se pueden contar. Okay. You can say how many, how many apples? Cuántas manzanas? And, and you say how much money, how much sugar, how much salt, how much water? How much ah. this present? Y la expresión, la expresión cuánto cuesta es how much? How much is it? How much? How much okay. is it? ¿Cuánto cuesta esto? Because... How much is it? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. So, where were you on the weekend? Why were you angry? ¿Por qué estabas enojada? When was your wedding ceremony? ¿Cuándo fue tu Ceremonia de bodas, right? When was your wedding ceremony? Why were you okay. there? Where were you on the weekend? Okay. Okay, so, ¿dónde? ¿Por qué? ¿Y cuándo? ¿Cuándo? So, let's see. Let's practice answering the following question. Just let me erase this. Here we go.
What did you do yesterday? Any volunteer to answer this question? What did you do yesterday? It's simple pass. It's simple pass. What did you do yesterday? I, I was you? work yesterday. Okay, I very did. good. So you say, I was at work. Muy bien, I was at work. Any other activity? What did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hizo ayer? Tell me. I did my homework. Okay, excellent. I did my homework. Any other sentence? Come on, do it. Answer this. What did you do yesterday? I did like nothing. Okay, very good. <laughs> I did nothing or anything. <laughs> anything. No, he said nada. <laughs> Only a sleep, sleep, sleep. I slept. I slept. <laughs> I slept. I slept. I slept. All, day. <laughs> all day. The whole day, yes. Any other answer? Come on. Book. What did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hicieron ayer? What did you do yesterday? So I took a shower. I ate chicken. I went to work. I rode my bike. I rode my bike, I studied, I worked. I played I, soccer. I, I play soccer. Can you please repeat, Alpha, please? I I got I go to the gym. Okay, I went to the gym. I did exercise, I did yoga. I take my wife and go eat. A restaurant at, at a restaurant. Okay, I took I took my wife to a restaurant. Very good. I took. I took. It's in pass, right? It's in pass. Very good. I took. Yes, thank you very much. Any other activity? I watch television. I listened to music. I did okay. to exercise. Okay, I did exercise. I completed the platform. I did walk on. Or walk. Okay. I did walk. Okay, very good. So where I, did you go last I week? I took my car and looked for a mechanic. Okay, I, I took to my walk. car to the mechanic. I took my car to the mechanic. And where did you go last weekend? Where did you go last weekend? This is another question. Where did you go last weekend? Donde? I did visit. No, it's where, okay. Where did you go? Donde fue el fin de semana pasado? I did go. To the panels. To the beach. Oh, then you say, I went in past, right? I went to the beach. I went to the bakery, a la panadería. I, I went to the, the Hilary City. Okay, very good. So let's go to the next one. Did you go shopping? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. No, I did. It's a yes, no question. Very good, Alpha. Thank you, Walter. Did you stay at home? Is another yes no question. Did you stay at home last weekend? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, in the last one, when did you last go to the movies? ¿Se acuerdan de las expresiones de tiempo para el pasado? One day ago, one week ago. So, ¿cuándo fue la última vez que fue al cine? So, you say, I went to the movies two weeks ago, one month ago, two years ago. So, we use those expressions to answer this question. Two months ago. I went to go to the movies two years ago. Two years ago. And the last one, what movie did you watch, Luis? What movie did you watch? I watched, I watched the uh, Minions. Ah, okay. Minions I movie. I watched the Minions movies. Very good. 
So do you have any question about today's class? Questions? <coughs> questions? No questions? No question. No questions. Okay. So as you know, today is our last class, right? So I just want to say thank you. Thank you very much for your punctuality, yeah. for your participation during the class, for working hard on the platform exercises. I know that it has been really hard, right? And mainly this week, during this week, I, you had had a lot of work on the platform exercises, but you did a very good job, right? You did a great job. So uh, now everyone, can, can see their effort right in a diploma. Ahora pueden ver su esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Todo el esfuerzo que han hecho durante estas cuatro semanas en su certificado, en su diploma. Oh, no les dio, no se sintieron contentos cuando pudieron ver eh, o accesar a su certificado. Ahí está su nombre. Yo no sé qué pasa, yo no me he dormido. <laughs> ok, I'm going to help you, Alfa. Don't worry. Hey, happy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Julio, I say I felt happy, right? Me sentí feliz, right? So, ustedes se han ganado ese diploma, ¿verdad? Durante estas cuatro semanas se han trabajado muy duro por ello. So, any opinion about the class? Who wants to say something about the court in general? Do you have solamente, anything? solamente, only, only. Agradecerle, teacher, ahí por, por sus enseñanzas, ¿verdad? Y bueno, a seguirle metiendo. Ok, thank you. Y desearle, lo, lo, y desearle éxitos a usted también ahí en sus labores. Ok, thank you very much, Walter. Thank you. Anyone? Anyone? Teacher. teacher. Yes, Isidro, tell me. Quiero darle las gracias eh, por un excelente gente, pues aprendizaje que hemos tenido con usted, la verdad me siento satisfecho y yo creo que eh, es el primer diploma que me he ganado en años. <risa> en bien. esta pandemia. Congratulations. Entonces, muy agradecido con usted, realmente hemos aprendido mucho y estamos preparados para el siguiente módulo. Vamos, vamos, pero preparados con las enseñanzas. Muchas gracias. Ok, thank you, Isidro. It has been my pleasure, right? I'm happy, right? That you learn a lot of in this. Never program. is late. Okay. So Never is late. Gracias por la paciencia, yeah. teacher. Ah, thank okay. Thank you, teacher. Yo le me sale que no puedo, no sé por qué no, no puedo ver mi, mi certificado. Okay, let me check it. Sí, ya me envió la foto. Ahora dele click donde dice view certificate. View certificate. Ya le di, no me da nada. En azul, dele doble clic. Si es posible. Ta, 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 ta. Todos en expectativa. Redoble, redoble. Redoble, Todos apoyándola. Sí se pudo. Queremos yes, ver la, sí, la cara de expresión. Ah, ok. Muy bien. <laughs> Mándenos una captura para estar felices con usted. Ok, very good. Uh, anyone, anyone <laughs> wants to see something? She needs to start again. ¿Alguien más quiere mí, decir algo? Amigos, muy agradecidos por la compañía de ustedes en este curso. Gracias, teacher, por sus enseñanzas y por la paciencia que nos ha tenido. Okay. Gracias al teacher y a, y a todos los compañeros. Okay, Igual, gracias you. al teacher y bueno, algunos tenemos un poco más difícil el, el aprendizaje, pero ahí vamos, ahí Me vamos. Entonces, seguimos adelante. Gracias okay. también a los compañeros que de alguna manera pues se aprende todos juntos. Ok, excelente. Thank you, Alexis. Sí. Eh, continuamos trabajando, ¿verdad? Este es un idioma muy bonito y es muy importante, ¿verdad? También es muy útil, ¿verdad? Nos va a ayudar en muchas áreas de nuestra vida, ¿verdad? So, We're going to drink. Okay, so we go to drink. Uh, do you want to drink something? <laughs> <laughs> to, to celebrate. <laughs> to celebrate. 
Ok. Hablando del siguiente curso, tengo alguna información importante acá que darles. Ya está abierta la reinscripción, ¿verdad? Ya pueden hacer otra vez el papeleo para inscribirse en el siguiente curso. Pueden hacerlo a, par a partir del 11 y tienen hasta el 14 de febrero. Ya tenemos que meterle, ¿verdad? Para que puedan inscribirse al siguiente curso. Tentativamente comenzaría el 21 de febrero. La fecha es tentativa, ¿verdad? Ok. So, entonces, del 11 al 14. Por the information. Perdón que me, me, me levanté. ¿Qué fecha es la tentativa para iniciar el siguiente? 21 de febrero, pero tiene que inscribirse del 11 al 14 de febrero. Tienen todos estos días, a partir de mañana ya puede empezar a hacer el papeleo para inscribirse lo, en el siguiente mandé. módulo. Ah, ya lo envió, perfecto. Okay. Entonces, eh, se van a comunicar con usted, ¿verdad? Para decirle que está todo bien y cuándo puede comenzar el siguiente curso. Okay. Bueno, no se les olvide, del 11 al 14 de febrero para okay, el... Ok, estaremos pendientes. Y okay, el 21 teacher. de febrero, la fecha tentativa de comienzo del siguiente año. Thank you very much. Thank you for so, muchas gracias. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.